Okay, this is lesson 12-7, more line plots. This is a continuum of what we did uh, yesterday where we had a number line with our whole numbers and then we divided it into fourths. If we're gonna divide it into fourths, we draw how many lines? Three, good. So, okay, and this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths and four fourths, right? And then we do the same thing in between whole number one and whole number two. We, we are gonna keep our denominator the same, it needs to be at fourths. So we're gonna draw three lines. Now we're gonna try to do the new way we learned. We know this is five fourths, but we wanna do it as one whole number one. We can go ahead and ignore this then. Whole number one, so one and how many fourths? One fourth. This is one, it's one inch and one, two, two fourths. This is one inch and three fourths and then whole number two, okay? We also, just like we can cut a pizza into fourths and we can cut a pizza into halves, right? But it's still the same pizza we're talking about here. Okay, we can measure things to the nearest fourth of an inch or we can measure them to the nearest half of an inch. So if I'm gonna break this line into halves, I have two parts, so I draw one line. So if this is zero and this is one, this is one half, okay? Now, one and two, again, I broke it into halves, I have to continue with halves. So I'm gonna break this into two halves, so I draw one line. Okay, and we know this is one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, we get that. But let's do it as, like as we're growing older and we no longer count ourselves in months, okay? Once we hit that year number one, we say they're one year and one month. So we wanna say it's one inch and, what would you call that? What did you call it here? You called it a half inch, so it's one inch and a half, so we call that one inch and a half. Note that your whole number should be the same height as your fraction together, okay? And then we have whole number two. So that's all we're doing today is we're looking at line plots that maybe are more to the half inch or half number, half fraction as they are instead of doing the fourths. So let's take a look here. You can measure to the nearest half inch. The marks on this ruler show half inch marks. Each whole inch equals two half inches. So to get to whole number one, we have a half inch plus a half inch is two halves, which is one whole, okay? Three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, okay? Half inch, this is one whole. We could call this one and a half, two, two and a half, three, okay? So, to the nearest half inch, the length of this string goes from zero to three halves, right? One half, two halves, three halves. So, three halves is one whole inch and half of an inch. So we can write this as, make that number big, one, and one half, okay? Which, if you look at where that is, it's past the one inch line and then a little half there, okay? The lengths of the lines are shown below, okay? So this is, they've measured a bunch of different lines. See how they measured this one? They've measured one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different lines, and those are the different ones. So. We want to record the data on the line plot. We want to know how many of the lines were one inch long. So how many one inches do you see? I see one right there, and that's it. So there was one data value for one inch. So cross that out so we don't get confused by it. How many lines were one and one half inches? So we need to count the one and one half. I see one, two. That's all I see, one and one half. 
okay? So there's two data values for one and one half. Cross those out, okay? I want you to find how many lines were exactly two inches and write that there and how many lines were exactly two and a half inches from up here. Write those numbers down, pause it and come back. I see three, two inch, and I see one, two, three, four, four for two and a half inches. Now we knew there were 10, so let's just make sure we're right. Three plus three is six, plus four is 10. So I just wanna make sure that all of our numbers together equal the total. So now we wanna do a line plot here. So for one inch, we had one dot. There was only one line that measured one inch long. For one and one half, how many lines did we have? Two of them, right? So how many dots are we gonna make? Two. Okay, I want you to make the dots on here for two inches and for two and a half inches. So pause it and come back. Okay, so your line plot should look like that. You wanna to try to keep them as much spaced together so like all the ones are right here and then the second row is here and the third row is there and fourth row so that it's easy to see by glancing at it which one is the most popular, okay? So the length that occurs the most often is how many inches? It should be two and one half. Notice that my whole number is as big as my fraction together. They should have the same height, okay? The length that occurs the least often is which one? Which, which length, which one of these occurs the least often? Should be one inch. And how many lines are measured in all? Count up all of those. Should be 10, which is what we had up there, right? Okay. The length of several ribbons are listed below. Use the data to make the line plot, which length occurs the most often. Okay, I want you to try this on your own, but before you do, let's see, see how this one started at one and ended at two and a half. We don't have to start at zero and go all the way up to 10 if all of these are in a, a small area. So we have two and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half, two, two, two and a half, three and a half. So it's all from two to three and a half. So my suggestion is to make it from two to four, just so you have some extra in there. I mean, you could stop at three and a half if you wanted, but, um, and let's do that on the back. So first thing I want you to do, leave more space than I did yesterday, right? So you can make, so make it. And instead of doing zero and one, I would say you wanna do two, three, and four. So set that up, pause it, and come back. Okay, so we should have two, three, and four. And if we look at these, these are all to the half inch, not to the one fourth, so we just are gonna divide this in half. Okay, and can you write the numbers that should go there? Pause it and come back. Okay, so these are our whole numbers, two, three, and four, and then we've done two and a half right in the middle and three and a half right in the middle, okay? So I want you to pause it, and I want you to line plot each one of those, and you can just go by one, by one by one, two and a half, put a dot at two and a half, and cross it out. Go to three and a half, put a dot at three and a half, cross it out. So pause it and come back. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is what your line plot should look like. Three and a half is the most popular. If you didn't have four, you would say three is the least popular, but really four was because it's, uh, it's, uh, didn't have any, any selections, okay? All right, great job. Have a good night. Bye.